In today's episode, I'm checking out Recast Application Workspace, the amazing platform that will help you deploy, configure, manage, and patch all of your software. And you have to see it to believe it. Check it out. You know me and you know that I work and teach Microsoft 365. One of my favorite topics in 365 has to be Microsoft Intune. It's come a long way over the years, but the one kind of Achilles heel that I still think it has is software deployment, management, and patching. Well, I'm really pleased to say that I've discovered an alternative. Well, it's not really an alternative. It's an additional tool that you can deploy. So this week, I'm gonna look at Recast Application Workspace, and I gotta put my hand up and say this absolutely rocks when it comes to the whole deployment, config, management, and patching of software. The fact is, they do everything for you. And just with a few simple clicks, you can deploy packages to Mac OS, Windows, in fact, any OS. It's just absolutely rocks. So in today's episode, we're gonna take you on a complete deep dive and just show you how simple uh, this actually is. Now, if you haven't subscribed, well, you know what to do. Click on that subscribe button, ring that bell, and come and join our learning community. It would be great to have you. And if you have questions or comments about this, or in fact, any of my videos, just get them down below and I'll always do my best for you. So I think without any more jibber jabber, let's jump in and take a look at the awesome power of Recast Application Workspace. You enjoy. So I'm kicking off my demo here in Windows 11, and this particular machine has been joined to both Microsoft Entra ID as well as Intune. And I'm currently logged on as a user called Angie. Now, Angie's got a number of apps on her desktop as well as her start menu, as you can see, but she wants to install a new app. So rather than going through the traditional method, what we're using is a platform called Recast Application Workspace, which I gotta tell you is absolutely awesome. To have a look at that, we can see here that we have a whole selection of apps. And what makes this really fun and interesting and easy to use is the fact that there's no click, click, next, 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 like in Windows. She just simply clicks on the application and it installs very much like apps on an Apple machine. And so once again, if she just clicks on the app in the workspace launcher, you can see the app just seamlessly installs. But what happens if the app that Angie's looking for isn't in the launcher? Well, what she can do, she can click onto the catalog tab up here and she can see here if the app is available for her. So sure enough, there's a little file here called Bamboo and she just clicks on the get button and sure enough, it just seamlessly installs. You can see that if the app isn't there, she just clicks on the launch button and the gear icon just lets you know that the app is actually being installed. And you can see that the bamboo icon has gone ahead and been installed on her desktop as well. So a few moments later, the app is finished installing. Of course, this is all happening in uh, the background, totally transparent to the user. So an obvious comment that you might make would be, ah, but Andy, what if it's not in the application workspace and it's not available in the catalog? What would we do then? Well, that's a very good question. So from an admin, oh, there you go. There's the Bamboo Studio opening up. So what you would do is you would contact your admin and you would say, hey, Mr. Admin, that particular app isn't available. Is there a way that we can make it available? Absolutely. So from the admin perspective, what we can do is I can click into the manage here. And because we have access to all of the apps, which we've now pushed out to the application workspace, the admin can now simply go in and have a look for the app that they're looking for. So in this case, I'm looking for Notepad++. I can see that it's not in my catalog at the moment, but what I can do is I can connect to the app store of my choice. So I'm connecting to the Recast um, Workspace app store. And in here, we literally have hundreds of pre-packaged apps. And you can see actually a hundred pages times uh, this many, many items, I think it's something like six and a half thousand, seven thousand apps. And this is, of course, is updated on a daily basis. So again, what we can do is you can, uh, as well as searching for the apps, of course, you can see the different platforms that it supports, also the different languages as well. 
Um, so it really is flexible. I'm going to search for Notepad++ and sure enough, you can see that we have a number of different versions of it here. So for this version, I'm looking for the 64-bit and as you can see, it's saying, do you want to push it into production or is it not ready? And when it comes to security, application workspace, surfaces for security data, CVEs, malware flags, and other uh, security or key risk indicators, which adds that extra layer of protection. So am I ready to create the package? Are you ready to configure it? Are there any additional parameters? In this case, I'm doing a silent install here. So I'll just click on next here. And of course, because it fully integrates into Entra ID, I can now see a complete list of all my users. So in this case, I'm gonna search for my office users and I'm gonna assign it to that group. So I simply go, yep, yeah, next. I want it to appear in the workspace, not the catalog. And I want it to have an icon on the start menu as well as the desktop and again, clicking on next and just checking that everything looks good and off it goes and it will create that package for me. Really super simple. So now that that's done, again, I just quickly check that that's all come through and it's ready to launch. So that's it from the admin perspective. I've just gone ahead and I've added that. You can see the entitlement is to the office users. So flipping back to Angie's desktop, just refresh that workspace. And now you can see that Notepad++ is there. And as soon as she clicks onto the icon, boom, that application actually runs. How cool is that? So another very cool feature, which I simply have to mention, is what we call smart icons. Recast's smart icons are, if I just, for example, open up Microsoft Word here, it will assume that I just want to open up the winword.exe and just use the default word settings. But what if you're working in different locations and you don't want the user to use that? Maybe you want them to use, for example, a browser version or something like that. So what I can do is I can flip back over into the admin portal here. In here, we have something quite clever. If I, first of all, look for the app Word, so just come in here, you can see that we have something called filters and we also have something called launch in here so and we can actually go in and we can customize these actions and the setup so for example you can do if and or settings and because all of this is using the odt the office deployment toolkit and a xml file an answer file essentially you don't need to worry about that because all of this is simply click and it does it all for you. You can see here in this example, it's downloading Word, it's configuring the package. Now you can do this really quite granular. So you can have different versions of Word uh, which are available to the users depending on their platform, for example. So you can create your own actions. So in this case, I'm creating a platform action and you can see it says if it's equal to and as you can see, there's loads of different OSs in here. So everything from Windows, Windows Server, and so on. So for the purpose of this demo, I'm going to choose, let's say, Windows 11 here. So now that we've chosen Windows 11, again, you can even choose the product type. So the version, the license version. Once we've done that, I'm now saying, okay, now what do I want to do? So again, I could now come down into the launch option here. You can see this action is launch Windows locally. But if I don't want it to launch locally, I have this other option. And you can see you can just use this drag and drop option to the top here. So now the top option for Microsoft Word for this version is to open it in a browser environment. And you can choose uh, obviously, is it development? Is it in production? And you can arrange these in a very, very granular way. Again, going into entitlements, again, I choose Angie's home office group, refresh it. And now the difference is when she clicks on the app, you can see now she's logging in. And because it's integrating with single sign-on, 
of course, straight into Microsoft 365, and in this case, straight into the online version of Microsoft Word. Now, what's also interesting is if you go into the properties of the icon on the desktop, you can see that the location is actually pointing to application workspace. And in terms of the configuration, of course, it's picking up that online configuration that the administrator has just enforced. So, of course, now when she opens the uh, app, again, it goes into Microsoft Word, via the online version rather than the local version. Now, one useful feature that we have in the admin portal is the ability to go in and view when the application was actually launched. So if I click into the events page here, you can see that Angie launched Word. Um, more than that though, you can see all the telemetry on that. So the complete step-by-step -step from distribution to launch. So that's really useful. So like me, you're probably wondering if this all integrates with the likes of Intune and if any of these apps that Angie's using has been pushed out via autopilot absolutely it integrates so if i just flip over and take a look at intune if i come down to my apps page what makes this all possible and this is definitely the magic sauce is the bootstrapper agent here and to be honest the bootstrapper agent is probably the only app that you really need to deploy via intune and once this is done of course it is then deployed to all of your endpoints and once your endpoints are all activated, the agent strapper or agent bootstrapper, I should say, will then connect essentially to the application workspace. And once you've got that connection, of course, the rest is automated. Now, in terms of assigning permissions, it couldn't be easier. You can either go into manage and you can deploy them as device groups. Or of course, it also fully integrates into the likes of Enter ID. So again, you can select your users. So Angie's office group here, for example. If I go into the app itself, uh, you can see you've got all the Entra ID attributes here for the app. So again, everything's already there pre-populated for you. You just select the users, click on deploy, and essentially that's uh, now done. So the whole process from A to B is super simple. So Andy, this is all very well if I'm running it in Windows, but what if I'm using something else like Citrix or AVD or let's say VMware Horizon? Well, what you can do is you can come into the admin portal here. If I come into the catalog and let's have a look at Microsoft Word again. Now, uh, let's rather than open Word in the browser, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a or put on a filter here. So I'm going to say create the filter. Let's say this platform and it equals, let's say, Windows 10. Then I'm going to ignore this rule. So basically, if the user is running Windows 10, it's going to ignore this rule. And of course, our friend Angie is using Windows 11, so it shouldn't include her. So now what I'm going to do is let's create Word so that it opens in VMware Horizon. And of course, this should affect Angie now. Again, you can put some notes in if you want to. In this case, I'm just going to click on no, and I'm going to push this out now to Angie. So while this is running, you might have one question. What about things like patching the application? How does that work? Well, the good thing is application workspace takes care of all of that. So as an admin and as a user, you don't need to worry you'll always be up to date, which is really good. So there you go. That's how quickly and how responsive all of this is. So if you're using VMware, if you're using Citrix, AVD, this is an awesome solution there. And finally, of course, what happens if the user has a problem with a particular app? Let's say, for example, they run into issues with, uh, let's say, Notepad++. Well, what you can do is you can right click on it and you can say, I want to repair it. And this will then go off and actually reinstall the app. Um, so, and hopefully fix the problem. However, if it doesn't fix the problem and it still is not working, then what you can do is you can right click and you can report this in, as an incident onto your service desk or your IT team. And you can just let them know that there's a problem and hopefully they'll reinstall it and fix it for you. So there you have it, Recast Application Workspace. For more details, check out the links below. Uh, everything you need to know is right down there. Thanks so much for joining me this time around. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you next time. Stay safe. I'll see you soon.